New at 5, since this summer, a mobile medical unit has been helping people struggling with substance use disorder here in Rhode Island. According to Rhode Island Department of Health data, 435 people died of an overdose last year. 65% of those overdoses involved illicit drugs. Kodak's mobile unit is a 27-foot RV that sets up shop in Woonsocket three and a half hours a day, six days a week, providing Suboxone and Methadone to people who need it. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie spent a few hours on the bus recently and joins us now with more. This year, Kodak Behavioral Health got approval from the Drug Enforcement Administration to dispense the medication at mobile treatment sites. Kodak's president says the mobile unit is cost effective compared to running a building or renting a space, but more importantly, it's convenient alternative for those who utilize its services. It's almost 6.30 in the morning when John Hayes drives this converted RV into a parking lot in Woonsocket, puts it into park, presses a button, and turns the narrow bus into a larger mobile clinic that dozens visit daily. I see a lot of people that are, that are looking to help themselves. People like Jason are trying to do just that. I have an opioid addiction. It's been going on probably for like 15 years. Jason says his addiction started after being prescribed Oxycontin for an injury. After reading about Kodak's mobile unit in the paper, he's been coming here six days a week for the last few months to receive treatment. It stops the cravings for opioids. Patients are assigned a patient number, which tells a nurse how much methadone or Suboxone they should receive. Both are legal substitutes to opioids like heroin, Oxycontin, or fentanyl. In many of these situations, it allows people to function normally on the day to day, do things that everyone else does every day, you know, go to work uh, and not feel sick, uh, not have cravings. It allows people to, in some situations, get their kids back, stay out of legal trouble, um, just be able to live a normal life. Caitlin Connor says having a clinic on wheels has helped provide access to people who otherwise can't get to a facility because of cost or distance. Many patients walk or bike. Connor says having counselors, case managers, medical staff, and more in the same smaller setting provides a different kind of experience. So everyone knows well, everyone. Kodak president and CEO Linda Hurley says with the increasing lethality of street drugs leading to more overdoses than in years past, more options like this can help bring the treatment directly to the people who might otherwise die without it. The mobile unit addresses those geographic and demographic barriers. We really do need to make our services more accessible, and that's Kodak's goal. Hurley says in hopes of doing that, she recently applied for funding to obtain a second vehicle with a goal of having at least three on the roads. The bus that began running this summer cost a little more than $300,000. I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.